think about the type of movements of the ribs. Okay, so you're breathing in and breathing out. So think about um, if my thumb is the rib onto the transverse processes. Let me show you on this way. So you've got two, you've got two types of junctions. Okay, so when the rib comes in onto the transverse process, you've got the costal transverse junction. And then where the rib meets the vertebra, the costal vertebral junction. So think about when you're breathing in. So if that's the rib, and that's the facet, or the TP, there's underneath it, it's called a demi-facet, like a half facet. So when you're breathing in, obviously they're raising and lowering. Okay, and then you've got the pump band and the back of the hand. So you've got this sort of movement, see? And then you've got this sort of movement, yeah, coming in and coming out, okay? So sometimes when people say to you, when I <coughs> cough or sneeze or deep breathe, there's something, there's something between my shoulder blades, just on there. And I go, you know what I mean? When I can feel it breathing, yeah, and you almost like lean against a tr um, like a chair and think, oh god, that's quite sore there. It might well be that it's a rib that's slightly displaced there or sublux. And what I mean by that is if that's the TP and that's the rib, yeah, you might have coughed, you know, you might have had a recent bout of asthma or or something, yeah. And then um, it's not quite sitting right, so it's just shifted. So by doing the technique I'm going to show you, where you spring the rib, it will reset the rib back into its into its demi facet position. Okay, and it works really well this one. Okay, so imagine if this is the head and this is the three feet coming down. If this is the the, the spinous process is coming down there, so you've got this roll coming down. If I do it, so this one might be easier. So that's the back. And then you've got the spinous processes coming down. Then the technique we're going to do is like a rib springing technique, or butterfly springing, they might call it. So you have two choices. You can either keep your hands quite close, so that's the SP, right up against it, or we can have them further apart. If your hands are right up against it, then potentially you are going to affect directly the position of the TP. So if you've got a TP that's rotated, let's say on this right side there, can you visualize that? Yeah, so that TP, so the SP is going that way. Yeah? Like so. So the TP is lifted. Can you visualize that? So the TP so is rotating to the right. So when you pulp it, you think, oh, it's up on that side there. Yeah, so you could use a technique. You can get your patient, they breathe in and breathe out. You can come in with a Pisi form. Yeah, breathe in. And as you breathe out, this TP, you're almost like thrust. And it'll probably go click. Yeah, on that one. But in this case, we're going to try it more for the ribs. So the hands are slightly wider. So this is the SP. So the hands are slightly wider. So where the junction is, the costo transverse junction, we're going to be around the sort of like neck of the rib area, yeah, around here. So this time, the patient, because it's only done on the out breath, so they breathe in, and as you breathe out, you push, and as you breathe out, you push in, and you rotate in, as you rotate in, you lock in, as you lock in, you are going to then thrust in the lock. So imagine the patient, they breathe in, and your hands are either side, doesn't matter which way. Okay, so this is my preferred way, so this hand towards me, and this hand, so when I breathe in, it rises, and as I breathe out, I will push down, I will start to rotate to tension, and that, from that point, we're still breathing out, okay, and then from there, it's a little springing, okay, so they breathe in again, so it comes back, they breathe out, I push, I rotate, and I spring, breathe in, so it comes back, breathe out, push, and rotate, and spring. If you wanted to, from the spring position, yeah, I will show you another one, so they breathe in, and as you breathe out, you push, you rotate, you spring. How much do you spring? But if you want to thrust from there, the depth, can you feel the, the cushion and the wood underneath it? If you almost approximate the wood, that's about the depth you want to thrust. All right? Yeah, but not all the couches are the same there. But so you breathe in, as you breathe out, you push, and then from there, you can literally thrust. So it's literally a push, yeah, down towards the couch. It's best time to close on. Because if you've been massaging with oils and creams and things like that, yeah, you're going to start sliding yeah, on the tissues. So maybe either keep the t-shirt on to do it or towel over. Yeah, get the couch lower if you can. So from this position, remember the ribs are only in the T-spine. Yes, yeah, so the T1 down to T12. So if you are very kyphotic, then it's going to be very stiff. When you push it, it's like, oh god, it's so stiff because you've got kyphosis. It's not going to move much with the kyphosis. All right, so just bear that in mind. So not too much pressure here. So, what we're going to do, we'll do a little taster. Breathe in, please. And as I breathe out, hands either side, easy SPs. Breathe out, I push, I rotate, and it springs. Already clicked on this right, on the left side of here. Yeah, you probably didn't hear that, but it clicked, okay? Breathe in again. Breathe out, push, push, rotate. There you go, another click. 
Okay, breathe in, breathe out, rotate, lock, swim. Okay, breathe in, breathe out, push, rotate, spring, click again. Okay, can you see what I'm doing now? I'm not thrusting, no. but the joints are cavitating. So is your right, so your right hand is rotating well, this way? it doesn't really matter, okay? You just have to get you, your own position because what you're trying to do is, is pre-tension the tissue, okay? So it's like another vector in the lock-in. Yeah, it's like when you're using a towel, you're using the towel of the arms, the neck, yeah? This one, you're just using the lever of the hand. So whether you're gonna go this way or this way, it doesn't matter, you just find your own natural position. So just literally tension the tissue. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Watch again, so now we do the thrust. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe out, push, push, rotate, thrust. Okay, but because they're already clicked, they're probably not gonna get a release now. Breathe in, breathe out, rotate, lock, thrust. Okay, mm -hmm. breathe in again. Breathe in, breathe out, lock, thrust, okay? You know, because he's already clicked three or four times, I've already manipulated without actually manipulated. Yeah, which is by far the safest thing, in it? Okay, so I'll be how you would release the ribs. Okay.